going on YouTube? 0088 here. I'm here with my fiance Carla, and today we're reacting to episode seven of Suck of She Hulk. And <laughs> what were you gonna say? Of uh, as nothing. <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking of something that sucks, and then She Hulk came to my head, and I got the words confused. But anyway, we're gonna hope that I think this. You need to do that again. Why? Just you need to do it again. Why do I need to do it again? You need to do it again. What's wrong with what I said? You were going to say suck Hulk. Yeah, so? Because <laughs> it's the Hulk that sucks. Okay. <laughs> I don't mean sexually. What do you think I mean? I don't know. Do you think I meant sexually? Mm -mm. I wish it was. Anyway, let's react to episode 7 of She-Hulk. Hopefully things are a bit better. I keep saying that every week and it just keeps getting worse and worse. No, we're going to be really positive this week. We're going to be positive. Are you we're sure about that? So much positive. We're going to try and like it. We're going to be really positive. It's going to be a good episode. Let's find out. We might even see Daredevil. <sighs> Or maybe it's at this point, problem. I kind of don't want to see. I feel like they're going to mess him up. They're going to make, make him start twerking with She-Hulk. That would be quite cool, actually. Oh god, no! Let's watch and see what happens. This is the parole of a oh, bringing him back, man. Also known as Abomination. I am Josh. People think he's some kind of sneaky bad guy. Oh really? Yeah. Why? Because it's too easy. No, because of this thing. Death threats and all this stuff that they think he's part of it. Oh. Because he seems, yeah, he seems too nice. That would actually be so interesting. He's not just some guy that's just validating her. And that's but it depends how they write it, doesn't it? Yeah. Can't wait to see you. If you had her powers and she just changes as wet will like that, wouldn't you just change into She Hulk and just to see what it's like to shower as She Hulk? Maybe she can't fit in the shower. Yeah, maybe. Maybe she's too tall. She wouldn't fit in our one, that's for sure. She definitely wouldn't fit in our shower. <laughs> Cute dress though. Will change quick. Cute dress though. If she turns a she hog, should that it should get ruined, I hope. No, it just become a really tight mini dress. I wish. I mean, like they should do something like that, but they don't. They'll just make it somehow fit her the exact same way. Because <laughs> it's, it's just stupid. <laughs> Bless me. He's cute, anyway, isn't he cute? Mm hmm You got a nice smile. He's cute. What's so. that? I said he's cute. So I'm allowed to say girls are cute now? Yeah, of course she can. She's cute. She's cute in her outfit. You can say that. <laughs> She's like, why aren't I getting dick? He's gone now. Fortune She Hulk. If he is a bad guy, this is going to be sad because they've just showed us this massive build up of them building up a going relationship. Going on a few dates and things are going well. And she doesn't even have to turn to She Hulk for him. Exactly. And this is where the reveal comes in. Now to take her blood. Oh my god, imagine if you did that. That's probably what he's going to do, isn't it? I think you can only take it while she's in this form as well. He's already got it, I bet. Wait, he's left already? Yeah, that's a bit weird. Normally that's a bad thing to just leave before they've woken up. Wait, she woke up and he was gone? And she didn't see that as a red flag or anything? Oh, no. She double texted! What you up to? Oh no, you know. Never be embarrassed you about double texting. <laughs> do it. It's not embarrassing, it just makes you feel like shit when you have to do it. Because you know something. I thought that was a red flag. Like, as soon as she woke up, I'd be like, where is he? Yeah, that's weird. And she was just still happy about it. Like, mm. it's normal. It's just the first 12 hours after you slept with someone for the first time. It's just going to feel icky. You just got to coast through it without doing anything stupid. So like she's never done that before. <laughs> he could be in Weddings, meeting. funerals, job interviews. I hope he's at all of those today. <laughs> oh my god, look at her face. He text her the whole... That's because he's got what he wants, her blood. I think that's Not what her. he's got? Yeah, probably. No, surely she would have woke up. This episode's actually interesting so far. What's the significance of Miss Piggy? That's what she feels like. Maybe. 
<laughs> I can actually that feeling is horrible though when you're you waiting for someone you, to text you back it's horrible and you just try to feel like I don't, I'm not even looking at my phone right now I don't give a fuck about it yeah, yeah. and you're just like <laughs> I'm just checking the time I guess both men and women go through that oh shit oh my god yeah for sure it's not just a man waiting thing. for a text back is horrible yeah man I'm, glad, I, I'm glad I don't have had to worry about that for 10 years so, so <laughs> No, 10 years, right? <laughs> now you're like, stop texting me! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I feel kind of sad for her. <laughs> what, they make it, <laughs> they're making it so dramatic. We got a malfunction alert on Blonsky's inhibitor. Oh, did he turn into the abomination? We don't have the resources for a squad of uniforms to go with me, so I figure my chances of staying out of the ICU would be much greater if I had a Hulk there with me. Mm -hmm. See? This is the kind of shit I want to see. Her, the abomination, is, there's a problem with the abomination. He's calling her up like, okay, it's good to have a Hulk with me. I, I, need you, I might need your help on this. And she's responsible for getting him free. And also she's got this side story of like this guy that she likes isn't texting her back. Mm -hmm. All of this is interesting right now. None of this shit about... She's just sitting there and waffling about being a lawyer or something and and crying about some wedding where the girl hates her but then the next week she doesn't hate her and Yeah, that I've seen like, oh, yeah, that was this is episode. this is interesting now. Uh, or she's trying to get some new clothes and we don't get to see the clothes and then Yeah, we never get to see the clothes, <laughs> do we? I know, I get it, they're building up for the next few episodes, but it's like don't it's like the episodes don't mean anything. Oh god, I wanna see the clothes. <laughs> But anyway, let me not praise it too much. Let's see where the episode goes. Nope. I think this show tried to be a comedy, and I think it's just better as like a mystery action-y sort of thing. Mm. More of an action comedy rather than just a comedy. Yeah. I appreciate they tried to do something different, because they did that with um, mm. Wonder Vision. Mm. But that was actually good. Yeah. <laughs> they, they took the risk and it paid off, but mm. whatever they're trying to do with this isn't quite... Isn't quite hitting it, unfortunately. Mm. You know the difference between waiting for someone to text you back for girls and boys is the guys we're waiting for you to text back when we haven't met yet. We're like, oh come on, why'd you text her back? I wanna meet her, I wanna get with her so bad, you know. But the girls version is after we've got with you and then you're like, Why isn't he texting back? He just got with me and he, he doesn't want to see me anymore. <laughs> it's just men are dogs. Yeah. Ours is before, yours is after. It's just men are dogs. <laughs> He's violated his parole. His lawyer should probably be here. Yeah. They're going a bit over the top of it, though. You don't check it that much. Put on my green suit. Yeah, get big. Jolly green yourself. I don't know what you call it. Talking out. Something. Okay, it's definitely malfunctioning. I don't know why. <laughs> it's earlier, but... She looks huge there, doesn't she? Chicken. Yeah. Favorite chicken. It's bigger than normal. Maybe it's just the environment they put her in. Yeah, and she is good to go. So, again. stay away from the electric fence. Maybe. Then I won't have to make any more scary trips up here. <laughs> I just, yeah. Well, she's not like hooked time. up for no reason. It got her mind off him not texting back though, right? Mm. I really don't like how her clothes fit her as Hulk and normal Jen. That's probably one of my most annoying things about this show so far. They should have made that a thing. Mm -hmm. Like how she's managed to figure out outfits that suit her when she's small and suit her when she's big, but you can see the difference. Yeah. Here it looks like the clothes just grow with her. <laughs> it's mm. a bit weird. Like, like they did it in the first couple episodes where she had the, the baggy lawyer clothes. She needs to wear bigger clothes when she's yeah. jammed to that. Like, she had the baggy lawyer clothes that looked like yeah. they were way a bit overgrown, like an overgrown suit. And some women pull that off in real life. Like, mm. some women wear overgrown suits nowadays. Yeah. And then when she turns into She-Hulk, it tightens and you can see her calves yeah. and, it, like, her heels come out more. And, like, it looks more like a tight, it, like, fitted, mm. like, sexy office outfit or something. And it shows, it also doubles as both personalities, you know? Like, her more confident side and her more, like, frumpy yeah, side. Yeah, it would have been a good contrast. Good, yeah, it would have been cool, but nope. Why didn't they just make her wear a different outfit when she's... Instead of making her wear the same outfit, they should have just made it that she change. She, mm. change, she changes outfit. You mean when she turns? Yeah. Like Superman? Yeah. Well, she doesn't have a super suit. Like, she? they That's keep what... her in the same clothes, don't they? So, like, it's mm. really obvious that they... Nothing... It's really obvious that... Well, that shouldn't fit. It didn't fit mm. too Well, at least have rips on it or something, you know? I, I, I get not having time to change Maybe you're just that. supposed... Maybe they should have just made a change so we see her in a different I get, outfit. There'll be times where she won't have time to change. So I get that, but they should definitely look different, you know? They should be baggy, shouldn't they? Yeah. 
Right. And then, because her clothes don't seem to have any... Like, they don't bother her whatsoever when she turns. Her getting her proper suit at whenever that's going to happen isn't going to be as impactful because it's like, oh, now she's finally got something yeah, that she can wear as both gen. Out. Yeah, but yeah. she's already sorted, so <laughs> it doesn't matter. I mean, that is kind of baggy. Um, I thought it would kind of go tighter. If she... that, that, that should have gone up to her knees as she hooked. Maybe it did, I don't see. <laughs> this looks like a YouTube skit. Oh, I get it. It's like a ball and a matador. What the hell is going on? It's just... Right? And before you make assumptions, no, I am not a matador. That would make the two of us fighting pretty cliche, no? He's working <laughs> through some identity issues. Oh, I am not the one with the issues! All right. I know exactly who I am. A swashbuckler. What? Like a pirate, right? That's your matador, T. Tamambo. So if you could get me a desk and some Wi-Fi... Spend your I wonder if she can jump. She can jump that Hulk, right? Just jump out. <laughs> Like to bounce her. Right yeah, Dude. like literally, if like if she's got the same jumping powers as Hulk, which I th I'm, I'm sure she does, Hulk can literally clear distances by his jumps. You know, like he, yeah. can, he can he can probably get to Uxbridge with a, like three jumps, maybe if he does big ones from here. You no, know, no, at least five. Five jumps, maybe. At least. And I think she's the same. So maybe she doesn't know she can do that. I don't know. Respect that. So. There'd be no story. You just hop over the fence. Around and if you home. need me. Uh, don't even think of that stuff, do I? I know if I had her powers, that's what I would do. <laughs> she might do it now, maybe. I don't want to be judged, I just want to be me. Oh, hell yeah. Jen! And, and Saracen thinks he's a vampire. Thinks he's a vampire. You're welcome to join. I'll pass. Last session, we really explored Alejandro's struggles with his identity. Spanish is a language, not a nationality. So. You've never heard of Spain? You as a matador. And but that's triggering for me. Some light matadoring in college. Oh my God, dude, what? Oh my God. How could we you do, do have to vulnerability and how important it is to the process? Yes. Yeah. How taking your suit off would be a great first step. Uh huh. Yeah. I wonder where his eight wives are. Yeah, Does he live there with his eight wives? I don't know. I'm I'm to them. Probably got them cleaning or something. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. I, I lost oh, track shit, of that's time. That's enemy. That guy's here? You probably don't even remember who I he is. I do, actually. Tell me they previously. Um, previously on this guy. Oh, well off done. You recognised him really quickly. Yeah, because I remember him from Walking Dead, probably. That's why. Well done. <sighs> I think I was talking to my dead grandmother, Rose. Oh, yeah, he doesn't know what she looks like as human, does he? Unless he's seen her on TV. Oh, no, he does. Okay, never mind. Come on, I stacked all! This asshole and his friends attacked me behind my apartment. I'm gonna need you to sit in the calming chair right now. Right now. Um, as soon as I'm out of there, I'm gonna rip this guy to shreds. Uh, hold on, that is not how we work through our issues around here. I'd love to work through our issues, if, if you'll let me. So I realized real strength comes from facing yourself in the mirror and saying, hey man, I'm gonna work <laughs> on me. <laughs> we were just getting to this and it just went, to some bullshit waffling. They're trying to be funny, but it's not funny. Like this could work if you actually got funny jokes and it's really funny, but it's not funny. You need a magic crowbar <laughs> to give me a false sense of power. Rolling up on you like we were some super villains or something. Oh, you attacked a woman four to one. You absolutely were super villain. As opposed to I attacking a man four to one, that makes them all right. It's more equal. It <laughs> radical accountability for my action. And I'm very, very sorry. Oh my God. It seems like a breakthrough. He's very sorry. Sarcasm. Wow. Can't for it. Clearly not fine. Look at you flying into a rage, throwing people across the room. Into perfectly stacked chairs. Mm-hmm. Everyone else has shared, so is there anything you want to get off your chest? Nope. Look, the trousers are doing what you said they should do. Because mm. that goes right down to her ankles. Probably should be up there, though, realistically, based on how, how high they are when she's human. <laughs> I met a guy. When's the last time you talked to him? Uh, three nights ago, when we... Made love? First off, ew. No, when we slept together for the first time. 
three. Well, what was the last thing you texted him? Um, that was fun. I can't stop smiling. Oh, my yikes. What? Yikes. I can't stop smiling? It is thirsty and a cliche. You're thirsty and a cliche. Oh, no, <laughs> see, the is coming. I'm trying Bottom to... Bottom line, you said game on, and he didn't respond. Okay, that's not exactly the last thing I texted him. Dude. What did you do? Getting a little worried. Just want to know you're okay. Oh. Blushing smile emoji. Oh, my God! Uh, why would you do that? I don't know. I mean, I was I've been out of the game for ten years, but I'm sure none of that's that beaver. I don't care about any of that as a guy. Yeah, but maybe it's different this generation. Able, you might be able to tell. Like, I think the whole point is that they're helping her out, right? Like they're trying to tell that she's being desperate. Like, I would have not sent so many texts if I had a group send? of guys. No, but I'm just saying, though, there's text messages I wouldn't have sent if I had a group of guys going, "Don't do that. Mm. Don't do this." Don't do that. You know, whereas when you speak to your girlmates, they're like, fuck it, just say it. Yeah, but as a guy, I don't know if I would have cared that much about those texts. But then again, that's me. And yeah, you're so chilled out. <laughs> out okay? It's like a real bad look. I know. I think that we have to start considering the very real possibility that you were ghosted. Or he wanted to blow it. Sorry, no. maybe I wasn't paying attention. Did he explain why he, he, he attacked her? I don't know, maybe. We didn't miss that, did we? No. I was being, that's what I've been waiting for. I think he... I don't, I, maybe he did. Maybe he just managed to make it out like it was a mugging. I must have missed Not it. that. Man, stop talking about blood. Not everybody's... I met him when I was Jen. And... He liked Jen. He specifically didn't ask about She-Hulk. And everyone pays attention when I'm this. Like, my colleagues, my boss, guys. Would they like me if I didn't have all of this? Would the same guys who like She-Hulk stick around for Jen? Because some of them don't. Yeah, and I that's, uh, I meet this guy who actually likes Jen. And that just felt good to know that, you know? And then he ghosts me and it sucks. All right, screw this guy. Where does he live? Let's kill him. That's right, he's gotta die. Whoa, big man, please. No. I Alejandro, you've been warned about using bioelectricity in group before. Let's go find this Josh guy and suck out all his blood. Yes. Oh, no, 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 wait, guys, wait, wait. Jen is hurting, and all we can offer her is violence. Why is he suddenly a best friend now? I must have missed something. Yeah, I think I think we missed it. Does anyone mm -hmm. think they could speak? To well, for one thing, I'd say you can't control what other people do. It hurts when someone rejects us, as it reminds us of the times we reject ourselves. This Josh thing hurts so much because you haven't been spending enough time with Jen. And that's a shame. Because I bet <laughs> Jen is pretty. <laughs> this episode was going so well. It had a good start, good premise. Okay, Abomination's fucked up his, you know, his, uh, his tag on his leg. He's, he's gone AWOL or something. We need Jen to come check it out because she's his lawyer and that, you know? And it was like... And this guy's not texting the back, which is still somewhat interesting, but they've gone weird place with it. Anyway, the guy's not texting her back. Why is he ghosting her? Is he a criminal? Is he just another dickhead? Is he, Did you he know? steal her blood? Did he steal her blood? I guess we're coming to that. But the way they're doing the mystery now of these guys waffling in a group, talking and that... I'm all for therapy. Yeah. I'm for group therapy, too. Yeah, but I don't want to watch but it. <laughs> what is this? She should oh. be investigating this dude or, like, fighting the abomination while this dude is not texting her back. Why are we meant to care about these people? Because if they wanted to do comedy in a group like... They could do this. They could do this Parks and Recreation slash Ally McBill shit. They can do that. But get a fucking good writer that's really funny to write this. He needs to do this kind of shit, like, slice of life comedy in an action show or a character that's based around action you need a writer that's fucking funny that's so good mm. humour that's good at that British dry wit humour because this reminds me like a feels like they're trying to be like a British show you know mm. those dry British shows but they're so funny because it's the humour's yeah, so yeah, good yeah. like you need you need a writer like that damn you know for this kind of what, what they're trying to go for here damn it went off the okay Jen do you believe that this group genuinely values the whole of you. I do. And there it is. So maybe you can stop using She-Hulk as a protective shield and trust us with Jen. But you tried to stab her. <laughs> I think he went to therapy and... Well, that... he's obviously a dodgy dude anyway. I think he's pretending, but... 
You only t she only turned to Jen to defend herself. She was not like she was trying to get accepted. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Can we watch that bit again? Because you actually saw her clothes get bigger. I gotta say, bigger. that felt really good. They actually showed it for once. Yeah. Well, they can't wait. And trust us. Look. Let's see how they did the clothes. Yeah, they definitely go back yeah. Yeah. I guess they just, they just fit her right tightly. I gotta say, that felt really good. Felt really good for you, but... Oh, it smells like a fart. Too much. Oh, oh. Not this good. Oh man, how many? Leave the suit on and, and until we can get it dry cleaned. Oh, okay. Um, you know, Jen. Then Jen doesn't need to be spending time on Josh. Delete Josh's numbers. What he said. Delete it. 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 Yeah. Okay. So much growth. How do you feel? I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but I'm hurting for a year. Oh. 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 You learn that pretty quick. After years on plenty of fish and stuff, mm. when girls don't text you back, you've got to delete the number quick. Yeah, but the problem <laughs> is they still have your number. It's a problem. <laughs> so they can always come back. Mm -hmm. It's not like you want to get rid of them, you just don't want to think about them. If they come, they come. If they don't, mm. they don't. Ah! Well, what's this, what happened in this episode, man? It was going somewhere and it just went. To don't tell me that's the end of the episode. I think that's the end of the episode. <laughs> okay, something right. can happen now. It's going to be a twist. I will never forget any of you, honestly. This reminds me of when they fucked up the, man, uh, the Mandarin in Iron Man 3. But this might have a twist. Hey. Bye. You got this girl. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. I don't even think We're Abomination the car, might still that's be okay. evil. <laughs> Feel free to come again. Ooh, not till you get Wi-Fi. Oh, God. Come on. I was waiting for the twist. So I cut you off. The fuck happened? <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like a twist, like we've got her blood. Da, 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 da. Maybe that could happen in the after credits scene. We haven't had an after credits scene for the last three episodes. Could, have we? Well, this is so, this show is so random. They'll probably bring it back now. Beautiful scenery, though. She could have been. She could have jumped now. Three days later, here we go. He's an asshole. Well, more than he already is. You cloned her phone? For what? For that abomination, maybe? But I feel like he already knows everything he needs to know about, doesn't he? And took a picture of her sleeping. Don't. Oh, okay. Blood, I got her blood. That's what that was. See the injection? Yeah. But I didn't need all that shit just for that. That should have been in the middle of the episode. <laughs> That was what I knew was going to happen, but we just had to get through a whole bunch of bullshit to get to that. <laughs> uh, no after credits. They can't even be able to draw what happens in the episodes anymore. They're using the old ones now. <laughs> you, I thought oh. they drew everything that happened in the episode we just watched. But they're just drawing generic things. Um, yeah. She hot, babes. Just two more left. I'm not watching the next one. You're not? No. We have to finish. We we've got to finish what we started. I don't know if I could do it. We have to finish what we started. I don't started. know if I've got we it in me. We have to finish what we started. Mm -hmm. You think I love this? You think I'm enjoying this? I just w keep watching it. You love putting me through the torture. Yeah. Oh, I'm what like Josh. was that? Even you do, but they did that. That's for women. This is written by women it for, for women. This is written by women for women. You should love this, right? What? It's written by women for women. You should love this. Yeah, that doesn't mean to say I'm automatically gonna love it. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm I'm making a point that just because they've got women in doesn't mean it's gonna appeal to all women. You know? Oh, what even is that? The that thing was is, so rubbish. Everything that happened in this episode could still happen. The therapy, the abomination not being evil as you thought he was, even that guy being actually a good guy. But it has to be written, like, amazingly. Like, it has to be funny. It has to be good humour. But the humour mm. is so childish and stupid and, you know, sleeping. It's really rubbish. I'm sorry. I don't say that about much, but it's just rubbish. Mm. I don't want to watch the next one. I don't want to watch the one after that. 
I want to watch season two. Oh, I'm definitely not watching season I don't two. I want season three. Unless the only way I'm watching, if there is a season two, the only way I'm watching season two is if I hear some reviews about, oh my god, like. I can't believe how much they've improved it. I have to hear about a billion reviews before I even touch season two. Mm-hmm. But I will finish this and Carla will finish it. Whether she likes it or not, she's going to she's gonna push through it because this is for the feminist movement and you've got to do that for the Put big girl pants on. Put a big girl pants on and love women empowerment. That's what she hopes all about. You know? Let's Hang on, let's just, be, let's just be fair, right? It does have elements that are good I did enjoy but the elements that are good then kind of wishy washy over yeah I enjoyed the start of the episode I enjoyed it has element. it has potential yeah there's good there's interesting themes there like the whole idea but I'm bored when I'm watching it I'm so bored there's interesting themes that they talk about like Jen like having to figure out the dynamic of being She-Hulk and just Jen but that in itself is a a pretty cool theme to explore but they're not really exploring it in an interesting way. No, they're, they're exploring it in the dumbest way possible. Yeah, in lame, childish, stupid ways that we don't care about. Like, in, in unrelatable ways. Except for the texting thing, that was fun. But Because it was relatable, mm. you know? But going to therapy with a bunch of weirdos and guys that just beat you up and tried to steal your blood earlier and guys that used to beat up your cousin and that is now a pacifist, going to therapy and talking about it with those guys isn't fun and is a bit annoying and it's just like what is this and it could be fun if you could write it better but the writing sucks sucks so bad that it's like it's just boring and it's waste frustrating of time. Yeah. it's boring and it's frustrating and i don't want to more we'll push through we'll see what we can do for episode eight thank you for coming to my thanks for watching <laughs> uh us hate on the show <laughs> I hope the people that love it aren't too upset. Uh, I'm sure there's plenty of reactors and reviewers that love this thing. Oh, well, people are allowed to love it. I'm and not saying they can go there and enjoy it. it. But if you're hate, if you're full of hate and anger, then you can come here and enjoy the hate and anger with us. <laughs> and that's our reaction. If you like the reaction, give us a like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Let us know what you guys think in the comments below, and we'll see you on episode eight, maybe if I can get her to watch it. See you then, peace.